Hello, I'm walking home from a night out with some friends and I thought this would be a good place to start the next vlog. So welcome to vlog two. Also appreciate this outfit, very cool. Good morning. So I filmed that on Thursday, today's now Saturday, yesterday was super busy. So we're vlogging today. I don't have a firm plan for the day. I have a few things I wanna do, people I wanna see and hang out with. So we're just gonna do that. The theme or I guess like the best practice, whatever it is, I'll, you know, you'll see that in a little bit. For now, the first task of the day is to film content. I have a couple sponsored videos to film and then edit. And I also have to do my own, I also have to do my own filming. Sponsored content first, then my stuff. Let's get to it. Also, you won't see me do it because I need to use this phone for it. So I'll check in after. Goodbye. Content is almost done. I did get dressed. I'm wearing my gym outfit, Lulu shorts, and the custom tank that Dylan made me. I'm gonna knock out one more video, and then I need to eat a snack, and then we're off to the gym. My go-to snack is apples and peanut butter. I don't cut the apple, I just put the peanut butter on there because I'm a goblin, and I don't care. Filming is complete. I'm about to head to the gym, but I'm meeting up with a few people to do that, and they're not quite ready yet, so before I go, I'm gonna do something I'm very excited about. I'm going to go into the comments of my first YouTube video, the first vlog, and just thank you guys who commented for watching it, for supporting me. Thank you all immensely for being here and for watching these things. I have so much fun making all this. So that is that. We're going to go to the gym. Super stoked to get a workout in. I'm once again in public with my silly tripod and microphone. Loving it. My hair is wacky today. I need to wash it later. I don't think it was that dog, but there's a corgi named Mochi that lives out here that I've met like twice. I love that dog. I've arrived at the gym. The girlfriend is here. Say, say hi. No. We have more homies here, but they're just around, so we can get started. Okay, I'm gonna do a set. Sabrina's gonna film from above because she's spotting me, so that's what's up. That was a warm-up set at 1.35, I think. How was, did you enjoy vlogging? Absolutely not, never again. <laughs> Thanks. So I did three sets of 185, or I guess, yeah, 185 on bench. I have more to do. I'm just gonna zone out and do my thing. I'll check back in a bit. I'm leaving. These are, this is Amy. Everyone say hi to Amy. Hi. Who's that? I don't know who that is. I de that's definitely not. It's my girlfriend. Stop, that's not. my girlfriend. <laughs> Real? <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. Okay, workout is complete. It was very good. It was a push day. What I did was bench press, Arnold press for the shoulders. Uh, then I did skull crushers, standing skull crushers, and then followed that up with incline bench press. I'll talk about exercise in detail in a different video that will actually be the theme I think for next vlog. But the theme for this vlog is not about exercise, I will explain it soon-ish. Uh, so I'll leave, the, I'll leave the exercise for later. These guys are bumping over here. I like it. home unfortunately along the way my tripod fell in my backpack and broke this bit is supposed to have a top on it so that sucks I'm gonna order a new one because I kind of need that for this I'm gonna try to fix this one with a rubber band and some duct tape if I need it I have successfully attached my phone to the tripod which is broken with a single rubber band proud of myself I didn't want to get like duct tape goo on my phone so this will work for today at the shower, I have to eat something, just little menial tasks, and then I'll finally introduce the theme for today. 
I made burrito bowls last night from scratch, which was super fun. So I have like soft tacos with the leftovers. I'm trying to film more of what I do and less of me just like talking, but I feel super weird about filming me eating. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, I've eaten. I almost fell asleep. I almost took a nap, but I'm not going to. It's shower time. Hello, I just showered and I'm sitting on my floor because the lighting is kind of cool. There's like different shadows and patches of light, which I always enjoy. And it's nice down here. I realize now that the theme of this episode is going to be in the title, so this is a crappy reveal. But in any event, the theme of today is reading. I've always been a huge reader. Books have been a huge part of my development as a person. And in my continued growth as an individual and just joy in my daily life, reading is like a huge part of that. I'm currently reading The Dark Forest. This is the second in a series. It's a trilogy. Uh, the first one is called The Three-Body Problem. It's sci-fi. It's about what humans do in the face of aliens. It's very cool. This, hold on. I'm moving to the side because I have to hold a bunch of books and they're all gonna be like right here. This is my stack for the summer. So first we have The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. My girlfriend gave me this. It's a bunch of short stories about war. I think it's the Vietnam War. It's apparently very heavy, but very good. She really enjoyed it, so I'm sure I'll like it as well. We've got Children of Dune. Dune, the first one, is my favorite book ever. This is the third in the series. I've read the first two so far. Very excited to get into this more. I've actually read about like a quarter of it so far. It's great. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Apparently this is amazing. Stoicism is like a big thing that I'm into, as is existentialism and uh, more specifically absurdism. That's sort of how I live my life. I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, the premise is essentially that nothing really has any intrinsic value and there's no intrinsic meaning of life. So you get to assign that and everything's sort of just a party if you want it to be. But this is going to be great. I'm excited. Last but not least, actually I'll probably read a few more books than these during the summer, but at least for the stack, is the Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. I've done a lot of religious and cultural studies in college. I took it upon myself to like study philosophy and religion wherever I could. And I actually did a really long paper on Tibetan medicine and how it relates to Western biomedicine and the differences and whatever, no one cares. Uh, at the end of the day, this is apparently very amazing and very cool. I'm interested in how different cultures deal with death. I've always been kind of intrigued by that. so. This is gonna be a really good read. My dad actually gave this to me as well, so gotta read your dad's books. So if you don't read a lot already, I would encourage you to try reading a little book here and there. Ooh, I should give some recommendations. So I'm just gonna list them, and I guess I'll put them on the screen for you to check out. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, Inferno by Dante Alighieri. It's a classic, it's a poem technically, it's an epic poem, it's gorgeous, it's one of the best things I've ever read by far. If you're not a big reader and you're just starting out, try a book by Kurt Vonnegut. There's a lot of options and they're all amazing. My personal recommendations are Slaughterhouse-Five. Actually, start with Sirens of Titan, that's how I started, it's great. God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater is also incredible. Definitely worth a read. Read Dune, it's a perfect book. The Stranger by Albert Camus. I'd only recommend reading it if you have a very solid sense of self. My biggest recommendation, if you're looking for a book to give you solace and peace and like a new outlook on life, is the Tao Te Ching. And it's guided so much of my life, it's gorgeous. I'll stop there for today, but I have more if you want them. For the rest of the day, I think I'll meet up with some friends and have dinner and hang out, but for the next couple hours at least, I'm gonna go sit outside and read this book. I was initially planning to like time-lapse myself reading, but that feels super weird, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm also not doing an interview today because no one was really around when I had wanted to do an interview, so you can look forward to that in a future vlog. I think I might leave you here. I'm going to take my evening and hang out and read this wonderful book. Go read something for yourself, go take a walk outside, sit outside, it's gorgeous right now. I would show you how gorgeous it is if my tripod weren't terribly broken. But take care of yourselves out there, I hope that my tips about reading and recommendations can hopefully give you some joy, and I hope that watching this brought you a sense of peace today. Have a wonderful day, thank you for being here. I'll see you next time.